Welcome to our introduction to the United States Agricultural Census. Up until the 20th century, most Americans were farmers. From 1850 through 1880, there are special agricultural census schedules that gather extensive statistics on farm animals, crops, and other aspects of the farming industry. If your ancestor appeared on the population census as a farmer, then you might want to check the corresponding year's agricultural census to see if they are also enumerated there. The agricultural schedules can act as a supplement for land and tax records and help indicate an ancestor's financial and social role within the community. It is also helpful if the population schedule missed a family, but it does only list the head of household. In addition, the names of neighboring farmers often helps researchers distinguish between two people with the same name. When using the agricultural census, consider a few points. The schedule identifies the land and shows the economic value and production for each farm. Also, by comparing the 1860 and 1870 schedules for an ancestor, you can often get a sense of the impact of the Civil War on his life and livelihood. Both leased and owned farms were enumerated. However, owners, tenants, or sharecroppers were not distinguished until 1880. For researchers with African American ancestors, the 1850 and 1860 agricultural schedules can give a fuller picture of the slaveholder and or overseer of a plantation's farm production and give you an idea of the work your enslaved ancestor may have done. Also, those African Americans who were free during the antebellum period may have farms that were listed on the schedule. It is important to remember that not every farm was listed. There were limits on production, profit, and acreage, with the criteria for inclusion changing from census year to census year. The 1850 and 1860 schedules gathered information on farms with an annual production value of at least $100. The 1870 and 1880 schedules recorded farms that were a minimum of three acres, unless the small farm produced at least $500 worth of produce sold in the census year. Nurseries and orchards were considered farms, but the family's vegetable garden, cabbage, and potato patches were not. Not all states have surviving agricultural schedules for the 19th century. However, to get a more complete picture of your ancestors' lives, consider studying the agricultural schedules that do exist. Thank you.